Hey guys, it's me, K Star Moon Life After. Okay, and the message that I'm going to be delivering for today is going to be for my Aries, my fire signs. Happy birthday to my Aries. We are in Aries season. Okay, I know some of you are feeling a little down and out because depending on where you're living, your cities or state may be in shutdown. Okay, but let's just say that we're blessed to be above ground. Okay. All right, Aries. Um, I'm gonna put my disclaimer. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. And if it resonates, stick and stay. And listen to what the divine has for you. Okay, so this message is not gonna possibly be for every Aries because everyone's life dynamics is different. Okay, boy, this world is really in a state of confusion. Some of you are more than likely contemplating on what you should do. Some of you right now um may not even be working. Like I said, depending on what areas that you are in. I have actually even pulled uh, cards on this virus, and it seems like we're going to be in this limbo for like a little bit. That's what it appears to be. But at the end of the day, the Three of Cups showed up. Then when it all clears over, it's going to be a rejoicing, okay? The well, Spirit woman to tell you that some of you right now, whatever it is that you want to launch off of this possible, just start putting into plan on what it is that you, that you want to do. Just start writing it down. You know, some of you are feeling very uncomfortable right now and feeling like, you know, you don't have control over your life. How quickly, I'm hearing like how quickly it could be snatched from you. Yeah, look, see the Six of Pentacles came here in reverse, okay? Yeah, so like how quickly it can be snatched away from you just like that. All it does is just take just an event um, to just change your life. You got the King of Cups here, okay? So you got the Six of you got the Six of Pentacles here in reverse, and the King of Cups. You have the Ace of Cups here in reverse. Let's see. Let's see what else we can get here, Holy Spirit. You have the Strength card here in reverse, okay? So you could be dealing with the Water sign or Earth sign, possibly a Leo. You have the Two of Wands here. You have a Magician card here in reverse. You have the Chariot here. And you have the Three of Cups here in reverse. So some of you all are really going through it right now. I feel emotionally with self and even in a relationship too. It's also like, you know, what we're dealing with right now. Hold on, let me, let me do the bottom of the deck. Okay, the Six of Swords here. Uh, right and the four of cups here yeah some of you right now are in a meditative state this i feel like some of you this is a personal reading um just about you and also possibly you're in a relationship um and now it now that everything is so like isolated like this social distancing like i said i feel like this is for somebody who's possibly experiencing this um with what we're going through with this virus you know right now you're really thinking about things or possibly opportunities that you may have possibly missed okay this could possibly be with even dealing with a love okay some of you are in this like unrequited love here you got the six of pentacles here in reverse and you have the king of cups here um or this could possibly be a situation where um you're finding out like in your personal life, like you're not, you, you're you really like really reflecting on life right now, I feel for some of you. um, Like life has really slowed down for a lot of us, for us to just sit down and just like to really meditate and reflect on what we have given in too much to. Okay, um, some of you have not given in too much to on what you really love, I feel. I mean, it's like you love it, but whatever it is, you got the six of pentacles here in reverse. Or someone could be doing this to you, Aries, okay? You could be that king of cup to where this person here is the six of pentacles. And it's like everything's so one-sided. And maybe this whole situation of this social distance, distancing has is teaching you a lesson that maybe you're giving too much to someone. Or you're not giving enough to something that you love. This could even be pertaining to business. Like you may be holding yourself back. I'm doing a lot of things, but I'm, you know what? Like I always tell people, one thing for certain, we all going to pay taxes and somewhere down the line, we're going to meet our maker. Okay. With that being said, what I'm trying to say is whatever it is, give back into what you love. You know, you may have held back on doing something that 
you know, oh, it just wasn't the right time and it just wasn't this. But I'm telling you, there's something here that you're not giving into enough to. Or there's something here where you're giving somebody love, but it's not being displayed back to you. And this is why you're in the four of cups stage. You're really sitting back and you're really thinking about it. You could be dealing with the cancer, okay? And here now, we have here the two of wands here and the magician card here in reverse. So it's like right now, it's sort of like, I'm getting I'm getting the sense that like, okay, right now you're like, okay, I'm sitting here. I got all this time to waste. Like, like what do I do now? How can I manipulate this situation on what's going on with this whole social distancing thing? Like no one doesn't know, you know, when is this going to be over with? Everyone is left in limbo. This is why you got the two of wands here, but you still feel chained to something, okay? And I'm also feeling too that some of you now, this could be possibly dealing with back in the home again. You could be dealing with someone who now you're just now realizing with this four of cups that this person is a manipulator, okay? And there's like not much progress and movement dealing with this individual. This could even be a job. Maybe you feel like too with your job, you know, like I really love this job, but you know what? It's time for me to regroup because they're not paying me enough. So it's many different things going on here. Okay, you got love, personal, and career. This this is all about growth here. So, I mean, some of you are realizing that, okay, I need to grow. Because like I said, even when I started shuffling, you're feeling very uncomfortable. A lot of people are feeling very uncomfortable. And it's understandable, okay? So, it's basically saying here, you need to use some tools, Aries. Whatever this is, you need to use some tools. But the, the good thing about it is that you are reflecting. You're reflecting and you're thinking about it, okay? And we have here the Six of Swords here. So, there's movement, okay? Someone possibly want to come to you and make an offer. But I feel like whatever this offer is, and even back with the job again, it's not going to be equal, I just feel like they're going to just try to give you beans. But look, you're wearing your heart on your sleeve, okay? I just feel like whatever it is, is not going to be, it's not going to be what you're worth, okay? Now, like I said, that could be money-wise or just emotional, love-wise. It's not. And this is why, once again, you're here. You're thinking. You're thinking about where you are. You're thinking about your space right now. You know, and you know you need to move into growth. This is why here you have the Ace of Cups here in reverse and the Leo sign here in reverse, okay? Because right now, a lot of things you need to heal from, okay? A lot of things you have been through, okay? And you need strength. And right now, some of you are feeling like, you know, what, 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 what do I need to do? Okay, what do I need to do? But however, you know that you need to make a move with the chariot card here. Okay, you need to make a move. You're feeling like, I honestly feel like with this break is like this social distancing. You're realizing I need to move. You know, the three of cups of right could possibly be, you know, a third party situation or it could be, you know, just like partying. But here in, rever in reverse now, I feel like, you're in the sense of thinking, okay, I need to revamp, regroup on how I'm living my life. Okay, because you've done so much of possibly partying. Maybe you didn't take certain things in a certain situation. Like you wasn't taking things seriously. I also feel here too like someone wasn't being honest with you as well because you got the chariot card here going into the three of cups i'm just here like i'm, I'm you know i was always in a move move uh, always on the move just moving about and partying and dealing with other people and just not taking things too seriously but this has really got you to the point where you're really thinking and reflecting on where you are now right now but you realize you are worth more than what's been given you okay i'm going to clarify these um holy spirit could you please clarify the six of swords here for aries sun moon and rising please clarify the six of swords here for aries sun moon and rising the emperor okay you got the emperor card here hold on let me clarify the four of cups 
So you possibly could have been moving some moving away from someone from a controlling situation. Okay, like I'm saying that this is why you got the six of pentacles here in reverse. I think you're realizing this person never really did much for you. And now you want to move on. Like I said, this social distancing is actually your healing. Honestly, do see that. You're starting to realize a lot. Okay, Holy Spirit, why is the four of cups here? The Aries sun, moon, and rising. Yep. You're realizing so much shit you've been backstabbed with this person, with this individual. This is what I am seeing here. Okay. You're moving away from that. And once you move away from that, I'm feeling like, you know, you will become your own emperor. You're leaving it. It's almost as if though this person is trying to come back to you and you're sitting there thinking about it. I'm just hearing like after this long journey of being isolated, you're, you're thinking about it. You're, you're just not happy where you are in this situation. Holy Spirit, I'm going to clarify the Six of Pentacles here in reverse. Holy Spirit, why is the Six of Pentacles in reverse in the King of Cups? Can you please clarify the Six of Pentacles in the King of Cups? Why is the Six of Pentacles in reverse in the King of Cups here? Six of Pentacles in the King of Cups here. Yep, the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is someone who have, have you know, everything together. Okay? You got it all. Okay? You got the love there, but the love isn't being returned. I mean, look at her face. I mean, she's single. Yes, she is abundant and everything, but look at her face. And then also, too, like I'm saying, too, it's also giving me a sense of, You're really concerned about what is going to go on in the world. You're starting to look at things totally different. You're starting to look at that your time is not being valued with money, career, and relationship-wise, and with people. You're starting to realize that you're giving yourself too much. Moving right along. But this is a good thing, okay? Because we're going to come out of this. Holy Spirit, could you please clarify the Ace of Cups here in reverse? Why is the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Strength card in reverse? Holy Spirit, for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Ace of Cups in reverse and the Strength card in reverse. Yep, you're gonna heal. I'm telling you, you're gonna heal from this. You're gonna you you're, you're gonna walk away from it. You're gonna walk away from all that does not serve you, okay? Because you realize you're giving too much. You're going to heal from this. And some of you are really sad about what's going on. You're really saddened by this. It's like it just hits you like a ton, ton of bricks. This whole thing of everyone being still, it hits you like a ton of bricks, I feel. But it's not like, I'm going to say this. Just be careful that you don't fall into a depression. That's what I don't want you to do. This is an awakening. This is a, this is a wake-up call for you. Don't feel like, and it's a good thing that you are seeing this, because I get a sense that, once you break away from this, you're going to be okay. You're going to move better. You're going to be able to plan better. Okay. Holy Spirit, please clarify the two of wands here in the magician card in reverse. Why is the two of wands here in the magician card here in reverse? Yep. You're going to release the back. You're going to release the burden of all of this. You're going to release the burden of this person. Holy Spirit, why is the chariot card here? And the three of cups here in reverse for Aries, sun, moon, and rising. Why is the 
chariot card here and the three of cups here. An Aries sun, moon, and rising. The chariot card here and the three of cups here in reverse. An Aries sun, moon, and rising. The hermit card. I'm sorry, the five of cups here, regret. Okay, so what I'm getting here with this five of cups here, this is regret. Okay, if you keep moving into this unhappy state, you're going to regret it all. But I feel like you are going to move away from this. This is the five of cups. And you need to realize you can move on without this. You regret that you even entertain this. Let me look at this again. So here we have here. I'm going to reiterate, reiterate, reiterate. The Ten of Swords here, this is going to come to completion in Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of the Ten of so the Ten of Wands here. You're going to release all of that, like I said. You're thinking about it. You know what you need to do. Because the love that's been given here, you know, no one is appreciating your value, I feel. You're starting to realize that, okay? And you're at a crossroad right now. You know you need to make a decision on what it is that you need to do. You know, you've had your heartbreak, your pain, and you need to start healing from it. Okay? Let me see what other messages that we have here for you, Holy Spirit. For Aries, but it's okay. Social distancing is your friend, Aries. That's what it looks like to me. I mean, you may not like the shakeup, and I'll be honest with you, Aries, I don't even think that it's, it's like a, um, I think you're having an OMG moment. Like, oh my God, like, how did I let this go on for so long? That's what I'm hearing. So, it's, 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 it's let me tell you, it's time for reflection, prayer, on plan. You had the two of wands. Okay, so you know, you know, and if you notice on the two of wands, you know, um, one of the hands are tied. So you're attached to something. It's okay. You know, because acknowledgement is the key to movement. Holy Spirit. What a message here do you have for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, Holy Spirit. What a message here do you have for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Here. Yep, you feel restricted. You're not rejoicing with this. You cannot trust this person, Aries. I'm going to show you. You need to release them. Yep, you got the two of wands here again. And the magician is a manipulator. Here we go. Page of cups here in reverse. And the eight of swords here. Through all this restriction, through all this social distancing, you see that this person ain't about shit. Okay, you cannot trust this individual. Okay, this person who you once thought was a person of their word, you cannot trust this individual. But that three of cups in reverse, this could possibly even be a friend or even could be, even be a roommate. You cannot trust this individual, but you see, you, you're restricted and bounded at this point because I want to just say that this social distancing had gotten you to reflect. And now that you realize, it, you're realizing that you need to. Release the baggage, okay? You need to make a plan, make a decision. And this individual is a manipulator, okay? And some of you are not using your tools that you have to get out of this. You need to do that. You, I'm hearing you have all the tools you need to get up out of this. So when all of this stuff is lifted, I feel like it's going to be in your favor to make a move. You're going to find new love eventually, okay? Yep, look at this. The Queen of Cups here. Okay? Because what you were dealing with was unorthodox. It wasn't traditional. It was out of the norm. I feel like also, too, with this, you're going to break the contract with this individual to receive this. Okay? Okay? You have the chariot card here in reverse. I want to tell you, Aries, um, possibly check your card too as well. But this individual is not going to want you to move. They're not going to want any change. Of course, but but then that's that's the norm. 
you got the um the food car here yeah so this is going to be like a new adventure for you when you leave this person it's going to be a new life like a breath of fresh air but it's normal for these people yep you're going to release yourself you're no longer going to take a break you're going to release yourself you're going to move forward because you knew where you were it was very unhappy the ten of cups so a breakup is going to come a breakup is going to be there you're the high priestess some of you may be using love um love spells candle magic okay you're using your intuition okay yep here you go the nine of pentacles here again okay so i feel like at this time like you're gonna be on your high shit you know it's not in reverse so all is gonna be well all is gonna be well but some of you may be in the sense of wanting to hold on to this pain too please don't do that to yourself okay don't do that to yourself. And Spirit wants you to know, too, with this death card here, reverse this individual is not going to change. They're going to always be in their bullshit. And if you stay there with the three of cups in reverse, you are going to be unhappy. That person, this individual is not going to change for nothing. And they're going to eventually leave you out in the cold, okay? Yep, and then you got the ten of pentacles here. So with that energy, with that person... That's exactly what it is. And also, too, I want to say that, too, also with career, you know, hey, demand more money. When all this stuff get into play, start standing into your own right. You know what your worth is with friends, with money, career, wanting to start everything out. You're undermining yourself, Aries. That's what I'm hearing. And you got all the tools and that, that, that you need. But don't let anyone restrict you. And on your jobs, too, some of you may be restricting on even being creative. Okay, they're trying to hold you back. You know, trying to hold you back from shining your light. Don't let that happen. You know, these individuals cannot be trusted. Okay? So that being said, I am K-Star Moonlight. After, remember, every ending is a beautiful beginning. I'll see you next time, Erin.